Hey family, welcome back to Lightworks. I hope that you're having a blessed and positive day. This is going to be a general energy reading, nature edition. I hope that you guys are doing well. If you are new here, welcome to the channel. Thank you so much for clicking on the video. There will be something in this video or any of my other videos that the Most High or your spirit guides would like for you to know. If you are returning, hey soul family, what's going on? I really hope that the content on the channel is really helping all of you and um, I'm just so appreciative of all of you for continuing to uh, join me on this healing journey. Um, hopefully that I'm hoping that everything that we are experiencing here together, co-creating together is going to help us on our spiritual path. So let's go ahead and get into the message. Let's take a deep breath in, inhale, positive life force energy exhale any negative energy any stress or anxiety that you may be feeling anything that's weighing you down you want to release that with your exhale Most High God, Divine Holy Spirit, Angels, Ancestors, Spirit, Guides of the Highest Bright Light, please come in and connect with me now. Please allow me to channel the current energies for the collective to reveal what we need to know at this time. Let there be none of me and all of you. Archangel Michael, please protect our energy. Please encamp the angels of protection around myself and the collective and close the door on anything that is not at the highest white light, please and thank you. Okay. We have leave behind everything and everyone that no longer serves you okay so you may be at a point right now where you are in hermit mode you are focusing on your spiritual path and the most high has guided you to go in to isolation okay yeah we have knight of swords energy okay let's get a little more Okay, either you are moving towards something quickly or there is something coming in towards you quickly. We're going to tap in a little further to see what this is about. Just as I said that, I had a swarm of <laughs> flies coming towards me. So that's giving me the energy of Knight of Swords energy coming towards you. Okay, we have spiritual gift enhancement. Okay, you could start no noticing that your gifts are being increased at this time. We have spend more time with your loved ones okay at this time discernment is definitely necessary okay you need to know who is for you and who is against you at this time so in order to do that it's very important that your energy is clear and cleanse so that you can discern any projections coming your way okay we have you got this stop doubting yourself Someone here could be doubting their spiritual gifts and abilities. Yeah, bottom of the deck, we have rebuke the devil. Let's rebuke him, y'all. We rebuke you, Satan. You have no power, no power, no power. You are cast to the pit of hell where you shall remain. And so it is. All right? Reaping what you have sown, okay? So this is all about what you have sown. If you are being of light, love, positivity, good energy, okay, you are going to be having your harvest season at this time. However, if you are in a low vibrational state for all of the cross watchers and karmics that like to watch this channel, if you are sowing negative seeds, you will reap those as well. Okay, Com confirmation, we have harvest sticking out here. <laughs> This is for those that have sown positive seeds into the earth, okay? You can expect to receive an overflow of love, of abundance, of peace, of joy, okay? And those of you that have played mind games, done low vibrational things to hurt or harm anyone, any of that, then you will be receiving a visit to uh, the one that you will reside with indefinitely, okay? The devil. What else, Holy Spirit? What should we be aware of concerning this Knight of Swords energy? 
what is this knight of swords energy we have page of pentacles with this i feel like there is about to be a lesson learned with this knight of swords energy coming towards you they're about to learn something okay and you may be receiving evidence of that coming in let's see someone here could be a shaman or you could be uh, seeing a shaman what else holy spirit we have humility is key okay for some of you that are getting your spiritual gift enhancements okay the most high god is wanting you to remain humble okay we have energy vampires okay so there's someone in your energy that is trying to drain you of it at this time especially during the month of august with the super moons with the lion's gate with everything that's going on okay the energy vampires are out here active okay we have your presence triggers them okay especially those of you that are operating in a high vibration using your spiritual gifts okay you're like a magnet for these low vibrational energies and entities and they will try to trigger you because you're triggering them so just be mindful of that we have knight of cups energy in the reverse okay this is letting us know that a lot of these energies are going to be coming to us trying to operate in this high vibrational knight of cups energy portraying an image of love light peace and all that good stuff when really they are just very overly emotional overly sensitive and potentially volatile aggressive abrasive yeah that type of energy so be aware of that that's confirmation here somebody here is an intuitive psychic empath a high priest or high priestess okay definitely be very careful dealing with these types of energies at this time what else holy spirit should we be aware of okay we have it's over but it wanted to flip into the reverse okay so there is someone that feels like uh, it's not over they want to connect with you they want to affect you they want to uh, drain your energy they want to make you sad they want to see you in a difficult situation they are low vibrational and therefore they are, are not happy within themselves okay they are not willing to do the healing work so that they can be whole within themselves and not find joy in other people's sorrow to make them feel better okay just know this okay you are operating from a place of unconditional love okay continue to do that but set strong boundaries with these people this does not mean you become a doormat for anyone this just means that you go high when they go low okay but always protect your energy and protect yourself okay we have nature is calling you okay so someone might be uh encouraged to get outside uh, whoa there's a huge beetle here really pretty though i never looked at one up close <laughs> green and gold and beautiful colors okay um yeah you might want to put your feet in the grass visit a body of water okay Okay, we have transmutation as a lifestyle. This is about to be in production on a t-shirt because this is my motto right here. Okay, this is something that we're going to do forever. Okay. Um, transmuting energies. Okay, this, is, this will never stop because as long as you're on this spiritual path, even if you decide to get off of it, you're going to need to learn, know how to transmute these energies okay because they will be constantly coming for you what else holy spirit okay we have to not allow fear to stop you keep going okay 
there are going to be lots of things, challenges, obstacles, low vibrational people, um, tasks that seem like you can't get through them that are going to try to stop you and make you become afraid. 10, 10 on the phone of what it is that you're meant to do, your purpose, okay? Don't allow that to stop you, okay? We have positivity and high vibes. This is going to definitely help you to get through and get the things done that you want to get done, okay? Staying high vibes, okay? We also have self-love here, pouring love into yourself, spending time meditating, praying, okay? Spending time laughing, okay? That's one of the most underrated uh, tools to maintain your high vibration, okay? Laughter is key okay what else holy spirit okay embrace who you are okay if you are here you are a divine one you are not like everyone else okay your objective is different although we collectively have a common goal here we are still individually different and unique and that's what makes us so beautiful together we're going to do something unbelievable in this earth we are already doing it i see a butterfly just as i said that okay transformation metamorphosis changing this world okay bringing about change in a positive way showing light and love in this dark world ah oh, just as i said that look what's at the bottom of the deck the sun okay this is representing who we are this is what we're here to do as well illuminate this darkness shine light in those dark places those dark energies that want to destroy our earth okay but divine judgment and justice is here okay what else holy spirit okay we have i can't let you go this was going into the reverse okay this is some the energy of someone in your energy that you have released you're no longer connected to this person but they're holding on to you energetically the energy i'm picking up we have have fun you've earned it in the reverse this is somebody that does not is not holding on to you for a positive reason this person wants to hold on to you only to bring you down to make sure that you suffer this person has a very dark and disgusting energy to them whoever this is okay but the most high is wanting you to know that you should be having fun you have earned it anything that you're doing where you're stepping into your purpose god wants us to be happy about what we're doing whatever you have been chosen to do whatever your purpose is in the earth okay whatever you're doing to serve humanity and bring about peace and joy and love in this world god is also wanting you to love that to be happy about that to find joy in putting whatever you produce if it's a product if it's a business whatever you're doing god is wanting you to be happy and joyous with whatever you're doing okay this is not supposed to feel like hard labor and just as i said that bottom of the deck keep practicing and building on your craft business and project okay whatever that is this is supposed to be fun okay we're supposed to be having fun as we do it loving whatever it is that we're meant to do okay we have rejection was for your protection okay so you could have been in a situation where you were rejected from someone where they uh you know walked away from you or betrayed you or um made you feel less than and yeah god is saying that that was for your protection okay you hear those people screaming simultaneously as i said that okay there's a reason why that person would have had you screaming okay maybe they did have you screaming this person was not for you okay now this person is missing you or if they're not they will be let's get a couple more holy spirit please and thank you okay yep we have the grass was greener because it was fake okay this person may have left you thinking that they were going off to someone or something better okay but they are going to soon find out if they haven't already that whatever they were going towards is fake and that they walked away from a divine one okay and what they were replaced you were replaced with some dark entity attachment that has now attached themselves to this person okay 
and we return that neck that stuff to sender we're not dealing with that over here okay why because <laughs> you are royalty divine lineage you are a divine being a child of the most high god and karmic justice is here okay what else holy spirit 15 15 on the phone what else yep <laughs> you played yourself this person played themselves okay trying desperately to hurt you run away from you backstab you cheat on you whatever it was the situation whether it's family members that have stolen from you slandered your name took your money whatever it was that they did to you they played themselves okay divine timing is at play okay the most high god is watching everything and everyone okay we are all under judgment just thank the most high god that you are on the right side of this judgment okay that you are not being evaluated for being destructive negative abusive okay wicked you are right <laughs> we have make it last forever okay we want it to last forever we want the goodness of the most high god to last forever whereas these wicked people what they're gonna have forever is to deal with the devil to be indebted to the devil for the remainder of your life and have to repeat these cycles over and over and over again <sighs> wow yep should have listened the most high warned them wrong way go back don't do that don't stab this person in the back don't steal from this person okay start healing keep going towards the light be be kind don't be evil didn't listen what else holy spirit yep definitely i said this someone in your energy with that knight of swords energy wants to come back only to drain you if you are not connected with this person in the 3d they're trying to do it energetically be sure you're cleansing your energy and doing your cleansing practices and whatever it is that you do to keep your energy cleansed and stay in a high vibration okay if you're feeling low journal pray meditate okay make sure you get that energy out and off of you before you go to sleep every day okay because they will gravitate towards that tiny piece of sadness that you have and it will turn into a molehill of stress anxiety depression okay we're not doing that nope because we're on this healing journey we're going to keep healing keep ascending okay let's see all right let's get a couple more and then i'm going to get a message from the angels oh as i said message from the angels look who shows up archangel Raphael is here for our healing okay archangel gabriel as well i really connected with archangel gabriel today um through a channel message and they are here for us all we have to do is call and ask them to help us to heal on our spiritual path okay and allow them to do so okay very beautiful and powerful energies okay we have desperate energy we just saw someone that's coming back to drain your energy okay these energies are desperate okay a lot of them have tried to sacrifice many divine ones okay and they will never be able to do so uh, they just allow the devil to persuade them to try only to sell their souls okay so they get desperate they have to come out and keep trying keep trying to sacrifice folks keep trying to drain our energy siphon our energy um, to tear us down and get us off our path they will lose they will always lose but in the meantime they will try to, to drain us to stress us out to have us in fear not so says the most high god okay they can't do anything but if we allow them to get into our energy they can delay us do not let that happen okay do not let them drain your energy or stress you out they have no power 1919 on the phone unless we give it to them and we shall not okay let's see what else holy spirit okay we have i left you before you could leave me so someone in your energy is using this as an excuse why they left okay this is attributed to a lack of communication and also a double-minded energy okay this is not a valid excuse 
and we don't care why you left. We just thank God that you did because that this was the catalyst for many of us waking up. We don't care. We're not worried. We don't need your apology. We've already healed from that. We've forgiven you for ourselves and we have moved on and we have thanked God over and over and over again for releasing us from these toxic connections. We thank you, Most High God. What else, Holy Spirit? I just saw 2020. <laughs> that means 2020 vision. We can see clear, right? We can see who you are clearly. No thanks. And as you left, the blessings are coming pouring down. Why? Because the Most High God was not going to bless us when we were in the presence of demonic, dark entities, energies that wanted to suck us dry. Okay? Now we are in a place where we are a vibrational match and our path is clear and God can now pour these blessings on us. I love it. Thank you, Holy Spirit. All right, let's get an angel message. And they want me to get one self-care as well. Somebody's crying. Somebody played themselves. <laughs> I know, I know. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yep. Do it now. Don't put it off any longer. Have courage. Listen to your intuition. For it is the guiding voice of your soul, okay? You may be guided. God may be nudging you to do something. Stop something. Start something. Go somewhere, okay? Get connected with your angels and ancestors. Whatever this thing is, I already know what my things are that God is nudging me to continue to do. So whatever that is, you know what that thing is. Let's start working on it just a few minutes a day. If it's one of those types of situations or one time a week or whatever it is, start putting more you know, time into whatever these things are. If you have a project that you're uh, kind of moving slowly on, just day by day, start doing a little bit more to get closer to the goal to reach what it is that you want to do, okay? Let's get another one. Holy Spirit, Holy Angels. Okay, we have precious gift. Friendship, family, and love are precious gifts. Do not lose sight of what's most important. So the family members that you trust, that you love, those that bring joy and peace into your world, we need to foster those relationships, okay? Connect with those that are connecting with you and showing love and positivity in your world, okay? They're rare at this time. A lot of us, uh, some of us, don't have many people that we really do trust in this world. But the ones that we do trust, we need to pour love into those relationships. Okay, positive thinking, absolutely. This is very important right here. Positive thinking is vital in creating a healthy, abundant life. A positive attitude along with positive beliefs and thoughts, 2323, are crucial ingredients for creating happiness. Don't worry, think love, okay? So this is very important. We have to stay in this positive vibration, this positive energy, okay? The minute that we start thinking negatively and allowing our thoughts to go into a place of sadness, of sorrow, of lack, the devil will jump on that and compile every negative thought you ever had in your mind and make you think you're crazy and then you just stop and you're stuck and you're no longer connecting with your guides you're no longer connecting with the most high god and then these energy vampires will try to devour you okay so absolutely if you don't take anything else from this message please 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 keep your energy high vibing and think positively if you don't know how to stay in the positive energy gratitude is the number one way okay waking up in the morning and just making it a daily habit before you even let your feet hit the floor thank you god for allowing me to wake up thank you god for allowing me to open my eyes thank you god for allowing me to have a place to sleep uh, uh, food to eat okay a livelihood means to make money to pay my bills 
Um, thank you for my family. I thank you, God, for loving me. Thank you for saving me. Thank you for releasing me from negative relationships. Okay, I can go on all day, all day about the goodness of God and how much God does for us and our angels. Okay, so that is how you stay in a positive energy. Things may happen. I'm not saying we have to be robots, okay? Because I know life happens and things hurt and things make us sad. But we cannot stay in that energy. Not in the times that we're living in because the devil is busy, okay? And anyone that they can find that's allowing their vibration to go low, they're all over us, okay? I love you guys so very much. I really hope that this message helps you on your spiritual path if you like the content please like share comment subscribe join the family i would love to have you until next time my loves peace and blessings we're going to go ahead and return this energy back to the most high most high we love you and thank you for this message we return this energy to you to be transmuted into love light and positivity we return any remaining negative energy back to sender we love you god we thank you and Archangel Michael, please close this door and leave out anything that is not of the highest white light. Please and thank you. Ashe. Peace and blessings, family.